Connor's a troll. Connor's having fun. But Connor has now come out and said he's going to belly walk right into a world title fight when he comes back. I do not believe this to be true. I think that Connor Poirier Part 4 is very unlikely. And I think once Connor starts to hear the pushback and Poirier starts to hear the pushback and the organization starts to hear the pushback, that the media and the fans just don't want it. We do want Connor, for sure. Start sports biggest star. But with somebody new with somebody that we don't know what the outcome is going to be. And I think there's major opportunity. I'm selling you a Ferrari here, right? I'm taking Connor, the biggest star, and I'm putting with Masvidal, the second biggest star, and I'm putting them together. But don't ever forget how we got to this point in the first place. Don't ever forget why Connor went up to 170 pounds to fight Cowboy Cerrone in the first place. He went up there because Dana, on his way to dinner in Beverly Hills, got a camera with a guy attached to TMZ, put in his face and asked, would you ever put Connor against Masvidal? Dana said no, and the, comma, no, comma, Masvidal's too big, period. Well, th that was a shot at Connor. The way Connor saw that, that was you saying, you think he's too big, meaning you don't think I can beat him. Watch me. Here I am at 170, where's Masvidal? And I only share that with you because there's only so many guys you can get Connor out for. There's only so many guys where he's, he's going to get up for it. Masvidal's one of them, and Masvidal's got a belt. I can't tell you how frustrating I am to have to hear that Masvidal is not the BMF champion. Yes, he is. I watched him win it. I saw The Rock put it around his waist. Big, beautiful, gold belt. And nobody's taken it from him. That means he's the champion. Do you understand how that works? You win something. If you don't ever lose it, you're still it. I mean, do, do, do you get that? Do I need to start at the beginning? Okay, let's start at the beginning. Do you know what the UFC is? It is a fight promotional company located in Southern Nevada. Like, are, are we there? Do we have our critical thinking hats on? May I move on from here? Masvidal is the champion. He's the BMF champion. That means something. And that belt has everything except lineage. It should have a lineage. If I was Usman, I would have made him put that belt up. Period. I bring mine, you bring yours. I leave with it all. But that's not what happened, and therefore Masvidal still has it. And if I was Conor McGregor and I'm coming back, and I'm sure that Conor is going to want to go after Dustin, I'm just here to share with you, once he sees, no one's interested. Quite frankly, we weren't over-interested the second time. And regardless of what you think you did on the third one, the numbers should have told it. We were even less interested. I mean, in all fairness, Conor's the biggest star. Of course we went along. But Conor versus Poirier Part 4, come on, right? Silly. Connor fighting for a world championship, of which Poirier, at least for my money, is likely to be silly. It's silly. So at some point, we're going to have to look in a different direction. I'm just submitting for you now, Masvidal. Connor needs something. You're seeing this with Sugar Sean O'Malley. You're seeing guys who are big stars that don't have the ranking, that aren't going to be able to get in there with the champion or the top contender but can definitely do some damn good business. And by the way, Connor is one hell of a fighter. Forget that he lost to Poirier. Por Poirier beats everybody. Connor went out there and competed with him. Connor's a damn good fighter. When I put Connor down in comparison to Poirier, that's what we've, that's what we've learned, right? In the last two fights. Those guys aren't close. Connor's still damn good. So how do you tie that in with Sean O'Malley? Well, people are now pushing back on Sean because Sean's a big star. So they're willing to put their rankings up against Sean. They're willing to put their contenderships up against Sean. They're, they're acting as though they're trying to bring him down. No, he's got what they want. He has the placement. Sean has something way more powerful than some unnamed guy or group that turns in rankings every Tuesday by 8 a.m. Okay? He has placement on the card. So now you got all these ranked guys jerking the curtain trying to get on the docket with Sean. Sean's looking at him going, where were you guys when I needed you? I've always wanted to fight contenders. I've always wanted to have championship matches. I've asked all you guys for the opportunity, and none of you gave it to me. Now you're acting as though you're going to, you know what? I'm going to keep fighting unranked guys. I don't have a ranking. Why should I have to fight somebody ranked? It's a perfect argument by Sean. Now, I understand all he's doing is trolling. I'm well aware that Sean is going to have to start fighting the big names. I'm well aware. The Ricky Simones, the Rob Fonts, these guys are coming. I'm well aware, but I'm still talking about public perception because I've seen Sean have to go out and defend his position. Sean has nothing to defend. Nothing. 
You get these guys that come, oh, I'm a tough guy and I'll fight anybody. Well, that's not true. You'll fight anybody that's got a beautiful ranking. You'll fight anybody that can get you more money. You can fight anybody who's a meaningful favorite so you have no pressure on you. You'll fight anybody if it's on the top of the bill and you're going to do the media tour. That's not anybody. That's somebody who brings a lot to the table. It sounds like a lot more than you do. Anybody is what Sean will do. Yes, he will fight Rob Font. He'll also fight somebody who's yet to be signed to the organization. That's a guy that'll fight anybody. To hell with not having pressure. Put all the pressure on me. Pay is the same. Let me know when my music hits. That's Sean O'Malley. That's Sean O'Malley. But Connor, in many ways, is the same way. Look, there's guys Connor can't beat. That wasn't true a few years ago. Connor could beat anybody in two different divisions. There's now guys that he can't beat. Okay. But if you want on the docket with him and he's willing to get in there with you, much like Sean O'Malley, meet me halfway. Meet me halfway. Because you can bring all of your fundamentals, all of the competitive architecture that you wish is the way this sport ran. And you could make a pretty compelling case, historically speaking, that you're right. That, of course, would be be better than everybody else and win a whole bunch of fights. Keep my head down, do what's asked of me, and work my way up to a title shot. You would have plenty of examples throughout history where you could bring it. But I will then bring my argument to you, which is you don't have to be the best. You just have to be the most popular, and you'll get those same opportunities. Now, you're usually going to get slipped in on a last-minute replacement type basis. But those opportunities are everywhere. Michael Bisping became world champion that way. George Masvidal went out and had his shot at a world championship that way. On a last minute replacement, they do not go by the rankings. They go by who is the most popular, who can step in and save the day when a car just got broken apart. So if you want to be in there with a Sean O'Malley or a Conor McGregor, meet them halfway. Sean's not afraid to fight any of you guys. And I don't, I don't like that Sean's having to go out on the defensive and explain himself. If you're explaining you're losing and Sean's winning, Sean is winning. Sean has something the rest of them want. Placement, notoriety, attention, built-in media tours, posters, countdown, interviews. So if you want those things, meet him halfway. Be of a level of interest that takes Sean from main card to main event. Offer him something. Have you ever thought of doing that? Go out there and make yourself interesting. You ever thought of doing that? Well, Sean gets all the media opportunities. Well, do you watch them? Because as soon as you get done, Google it, find a contact info, write the host, and tell him that. You just had Sean on. Sean mentioned my name. I would like to come on and say my piece. These guys all want to sit around and wait. They want to have it done for them. Leon's in a fight right now that Leon is, is not thrown a punch. He hasn't even wrapped his hands. I can't understand that. Kevin Lee wanted the same opportunities as, as the big stars got, which was the built-in media tours, the PR arm, the marketing arm, to fly him around and send him places and line up shows. He wanted those things, but he couldn't get it until he got to a co-main event status. So he took out his own credit card and started booking flights and flying around the country Coming in, sitting down in the studio, giving interviews and saying his piece. When that tour was over, the one that he thought of in his head, the one that he paid for with his own money, when that tour was over, he had a contract waiting for him at home to fight for a world championship. You can take in matters into your own hands, or you cannot. One of them is going to give you a little bit of say, a little bit of pull, a little bit of opinion sharing in where your career is going to go, and the other one is going to blow in the wind. Guys, those people are very dangerous. If you, if you ever meet a guy that, it is what it is. You ever heard that? And there's a number of ways of saying it is what it is. Don't just think of our own Max Holloway. But people say, well, everything happens for a reason. You, you hear these types of things? Those people are very dangerous. Be very careful being around them. Because that is not somebody that you can now motivate. That is somebody that you, can, you cannot now direct. You cannot work with. You cannot encourage. Whatever is going to happen is already predetermined. It's going to happen. They are just blowing in the wind. And they're okay with it. They came up with a little slogan to share their uncompetitive adage with you. It is what it is. No, 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 no. It is what I say it is. I'm the boss, even after a loss.